Researchers at the National Research Council of Canada, in their studies in man-machine interaction, are developing techniques that enable the professional animator to use a computer to assist him in his creative work. Computer animation, through the use of special animation languages, is inaccessible to most animators because of communication difficulty. Since an animator's ideas involve mainly pictures and their motion, it is appropriate that the communication of ideas between the animator and the computer should be largely through pictures. Through the use of an interactive computer-controlled graphics system, the animator can develop pictorial sequences directly on the cathode ray tube display without regard to programming. A three-dimensional graphics package forms the core of the animation system. It is controlled by means of selections from lists or menus. In the same way, access to a versatile disk filing system for saving and retrieving images is available to the animator. The 3D package is used for generating and manipulating picture components in three dimensions. The control devices consist of a keyboard, thumb wheel encoders, and a handheld positioner called a mouse. With these devices, picture components can be manipulated in position and orientation. Individual picture components, each capable of independent motion, may be combined to form a composite picture. Here, one picture component is used as a path for another picture. Complementing the 3D graphics package is a group of supporting graphic programs. In particular, a freeform sketching program allows the animator to create freehand drawings. Other programs operating in conjunction with the 3D package allow distortion by modification of picture components. Using the mouse to control position, the coordinates of selected points may be changed in any direction. In addition, selected parts of an image can be distorted by shaping. The technique of keyframe animation involves the creation, by the animator, of isolated frames at key intervals during a sequence, with the in-between frames to be computed by interpolation. Since the successive keyframes need not bear any particular relationship to one another, a variety of transformations is easily produced. The first keyframe of a sequence is stored as a reference start frame. Pictures may be drawn or loaded from the picture library. For all succeeding keyframes, the method of interpolating the motion from the previous keyframe is specified. These include linear or constant speed, accelerating or decelerating movement, or a combination of both in succession. If a keyframe contains many cells, the motion law is assigned independently for each cell. The number of frames from the previous keyframe is also specified. Each keyframe with the necessary motion information is stored on disk or magnetic tape. The sequence is terminated and is immediately available for playback. On playback, the in-between pictures are computed by interpolation between keyframes. 
and again at half the speed. The same technique can be used to generate cartoon type sequences by using extreme positions of movement for the key frames. In preparing the pictures, the animator breaks each cell into separate strokes or pen motions. In this way, he indicates the way interpolation is applied. The legs and the body are drawn as separate cells so that different motions can be applied to them. The component cells are assembled into key frames. Here are three of the five key frames used in each cycle of the walk. The potential role of the computer in the field of film animation is promising indeed. Visiting artists have been encouraged to experiment with this facility to help assess its usefulness in their creative work. Even now, this technology can be applied in some areas of film production. Music in this film was produced on the same interactive computer facility with the aid of a music package being developed at the same time.